Hi, in this video we're going to see the results of earthquake testing of a reinforced monolithic adobe wall. We made four different test walls with Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, Oasis Design and Verdant Engineering at Quail Springs. This particular wall was reinforced with 61010 6, welded wire mesh. We built it in the summer and then in midwinter we fitted it with instrumentation. And this instruments, these instruments record every force and nuance of movement from the push of this 100,000 pound jack on the top of the wall. Holding pressure, right? Yeah. It's a reverse cyclic in-plane test with increasing push okay. and pull circle cycles applied to the top of the wall. Going up here, at least at the bottom too, showing where the reinforcing is. Broke 11,000. 11,800. So I, that, that's something stuck up. As opposed house, to if the load went down. Exactly. So even yeah. the load staying at the same place for a while. Is actually really a good thing. Okay. Um, even It's actually even better than if it was just still wow. going up. Okay. Um, and so, and when we go through these cycles of loading and unloading, and it, it displaces under the same load, that absorbs a lot of energy, wow. which is what you want a structure to do with an earthquake. I just see this thing cranking over. So we're at 13,800 at one and a half inches. Well, actually, there's not much that's dropped yet. It's still that little pile down there. Whoa. That sounded like metal snapping. That sounded like metal snapping to me, too. 14,100? 14,000. Whoa. Okay, we're going to four inches. How far the top of that wall is moving over. Also the giant crack at the bottom right corner. So there's nothing holding it laterally at the ends. It's just wire in the middle. But it looks like there's enough wire in the middle. Not only was this falling. wall super strong, it had a much, much nicer failure mode. Than is usually thought of in connection with Adobe. Uh, here goes the double mesh draw. Draw that torture testing and partially breaking it. We wanted to pull the thing over, so we did one final test, face planting it onto these wooden posts. It's astonishing that this held up. This is what I wanted to see. Look how nice that thing held together. It's still spanning six feet after all that. Super happy with this result. Thanks for watching, and you can support this work by donating at quailsprings.org.